beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a new pick a card reading for your month of May of 2023. As I film this video, it is currently the solar eclipse, the new moon solar eclipse in Aries, which is happening right now on April 19th. So as I do this reading, there's just a really powerful energy. So I was really excited to sit down and kind of connect to you during this time and to do a reading for you during this time, because usually the energies are really powerful and I'm excited to see how this reading goes um, since we're filming this on the Aries and new moon solar eclipse. So thank you so much for joining me here today. We are going to be looking into your month of May and the different energies that you can expect around that month and what's going to be happening for you. If you are new to these types of videos, I'm going to give you a little explanation about how it works. So over here we have pile number one, pile two, three, and then four. So you can take a moment, pause the video if you like in order to find the pile that you're the most drawn towards. And then once you are done choosing, there's going to be timestamps linked down below in the comment box, as well as the description box so that you can skip ahead right to your personal prediction for the month of May. I'm super excited to look into those energies for you. And if you like to choose with crystals on the card, if you find that that helps you, then let's go ahead and place some crystals on these cards. All right, my loves, here are our crystal options. As you can see on group number one, we actually have a shell on this one. So this is a shell on group number one. Group number two, we have some aqua aura quartz. Group number three, we have some amethyst. And then group number four, we have some angel aura quartz. So again, you can take a moment, pause the video if you would like in order to find the pile that you are the most drawn towards. And then once you are done choosing, there's gonna be timestamps linked down below in the comment box as well as the description box so that you can skip right ahead to your May 2023 month ahead prediction. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into today's video. All right, so group number one, if you chose this pile, this is going to be your reading for the month of May. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So let's see, group number one, what cards do we have for you? So we have um, Judgment coming out. We have the Page of Wands coming out. Ooh, let's see what else we have for you. They're both up right here. Let's see. We also have strength upright. Wow, this is about to be a pretty major month for you. And this is going to be a really positive month. There's a lot of positive energy here in this reading. So judgment can be when we are being called to step up. And we are being called to overcome a fear that we have in order to, to uh, pursue something that we really want. In order to move forward on something, the page of wands, you're really about to move forward on something that's kind of calling you. It's an energy that's calling you, something that's inspiring, something that almost gives butterflies in your stomach that you're like, oh, I really want to do this or I really want to step forward and take action towards something. But you're overcoming a fear in the process and you know that you're being called to step up in some way. Um, I feel like you're rising to a higher position in your life. Um, and this position is going to give you a greater sense of self-worth because it's something that's higher. It's something that maybe you're stepping towards a bigger dream that you have or you're stepping out of your comfort zone in order to take action on something that you find that is exciting for you. It's like this spark within you, a flame that's within you. This could be um, making a move towards a person, you know, like taking that next step or something or finding a spark uh, with someone. Or this could be like a project or something that you feel inspired to take action on, something that you feel inspired to start or begin. And I feel like you've been feeling this calling for quite some time. Um, the judgment card... I'm getting this feeling like you feel as if you're meant to do a little bit more with your life than where you currently are. I feel like you're not quite feeling that full sense of like, this is all I'm supposed to be. I feel like you feel as if you're supposed to be something a bit more. And maybe you've been seeking for that for a while, or maybe you've had some sort of inclination to make a move towards something, to get more, to attain more. And I really see you stepping up into a stronger version of yourself 
and to take action on something. And I, I really feel like spirit has a message for you for the month of May that says like, you don't need to be a master before you take a, the first step. And you don't need to have every single detail planned out before you take the first step. The page of wands is someone who is new at something like it's a new territory that they're about to explore because the page is the first card of the court card so it's the youngest type of energy so i feel like there's a young energy within you that maybe there's something that you haven't quite you know explored yet or maybe you're sort of you feel new at it you feel like this is something that's like oh this is a new thing and um the reminder from spirit through this uh, message is that you don't need to be a master. You don't need to have it all figured out. You don't need to plan out every detail in order to take the first step. There's actually a famous saying, I forgot who said this quote, but the there's a famous saying that you don't need to see the whole staircase in order to take the first step. Okay, so that is the message that's coming through. But I do feel like there's this spark happening and I feel like it's going to happen within the first 11 days of the month of May. You may already be feeling this already, but I really feel like by May 11th, you'll have already taken this first step on whatever this is. And I feel like you're really harnessing your inner power in the month of May to really rise up to something new and to also kind of start something new. So there's been something on your mind and... It does look like there is progress being made and I really feel like you are just stepping up to the strongest version of you to push through on this thing, to get started on it and to say yes. There's this energy of saying yes, taking that chance and taking that first step. Um, and I just see more confidence coming through this. I see a lot of learning along the way. And that's the thing about taking the first step of the staircase. You will learn along the way. You don't need to learn everything first in order to take that first step. The only way to learn is to just dive in. You know what I mean? It's kind of like not wanting to go swimming until you already know how to swim. But it's like you're not going to learn how to do that unless you go swimming. And everyone, whenever they start a new thing, everyone always kind of sucks at first. You know what I mean? Like we can't have a skill unless we develop it. So skills are about developing and I really see you developing this new skill, learning along the way. And I do see you learning a lot along the way and I see you uh, capturing more confidence in yourself. And I'm really feeling like your spirit guides are coming through right now and they want to tell you, hey, you got this. You have enough power. You have enough strength. They see your potential. And now's the time to awaken that potential. Follow whatever this calling is. Follow whatever this thing is. And have less judgment on yourself. Instead of judging yourself being like, who am I to think about doing this? Or am I even worthy of this? It's more like capturing that inner confidence, that inner curiosity and saying, you know what? I think I can. And let me continue down this road and see what I really can do. Let's push the limits a little bit. I feel like you're pushing the limits on your life because you know, and I really feel like this for you, group number one, you know that you are meant for more in your life. And the month of May is about stepping more towards that energy so that you can be more, so that you can, you know, begin to fulfill more in yourself, okay? The King of Wands also coming through. This could indicate a person. We have two wand cards here. So there could be a fire sign person in your life. They may be pretty prominent. So that could be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Um, so there could be a person in your life who may be helping you along this way, helping you along this journey, or they may be an inspiration for you. You may also be one of those signs. And if this is not indicating a person in your life, this would indicate you stepping from this, you know, uh, chapter of your life where you feel young and you feel kind of like, oh, I'm starting this for the first time. And then realizing that, hey, I think I have a lot more capability than I realized. And I feel like you're going to be awakening more confidence, more strength within yourself. And I think you're going to realize that you are actually capable of a lot more than what you gave yourself credit for. Um, and again, there's like learning along the way. There's this energy of learning along the way. And I'm hearing from spirit that you have an undiscovered gift 
You like have an undiscovered talent that you are going to begin to unfold in your life. I also feel like there's an there's a closing to an old chapter that's beginning to start in the month of May. There's an ending that's just beginning, if that makes sense. There's an ending that's just beginning in the month of May. Um, I also am seeing that you're going to be getting a lot of things done as well. Things that you've been putting off for quite some time. Things that made you feel as if you had the world, the weight of the world on your back. If you've gone through certain things or if you've been kind of feeling like the weight of the world is on your back where there's just a lot of responsibilities, there's a lot of things to do and catch up on, that is also going to be um, dealt with in the month of May. And I feel like you're going to be more on top of the world. You're going to be like, hey, yeah, I've got a lot done this month. And I feel like um, towards the end of the month, it's really calling you to kind of... um, finish a lot of things like you might notice at the end of the month that there's a lot of things that you have on your plate and I feel like you're just going to be at this um, moment of your life where you're like okay let me just grind and get it all out get it all done so that I can close this chapter and open up the new one and move more into this new energy and not have things following you from the past saying like hey remember me I'm still part of your responsibility when are you going to take care of me when are you going to you know uh like finish this up and take care of this thing and do this errand. I feel like you're just going to be handling all of that by the end of May. Um, Cause I do kind of feel this energy. Like you might be putting things off uh, at the moment and maybe even through the beginning of May, because there's just a lot of new exciting things going on. But then by the end of the May, end of the month of May, it's kind of like, Ooh, right. There's some things that I need to take care of. So I just see you taking care of that. It's going to be good. It's going to be fine. And I do see a lot more energy building up within you as well. There's more energy, more drive, more motivation, more things going on. There's a positive uplifting feeling through the month of May for you, especially as you take care of the things that uh, maybe we've been putting off for a little bit. So let me take out some more cards and let's get some more info on this reading for you. Okay, so the next deck that we're going to take out is this one. A lot of mermaid energy for you because we're using the mermaid tarot and then this mermaid oracle deck. Kind of funny. Maybe you are really connected to the ocean in some way. Um, Maybe even the month of May, especially since you were drawn to this group with all this mermaid energy. Um, So we also have the card Adrift. And then we have these two. We have receptivity and then energy field adjustment okay energy field adjustment that one's so sticking out to me especially because look at the symbolism and the similarities between our wand cards which i feel like are very much representing your energy especially this page of wands and then this one your energy is really changing i feel like you are believing in yourself more than you ever have before and i feel like you're really cultivating an idea to its full potential. I feel like you're really cultivating that idea and realizing like, hey, I can really, really do this. I I just see you putting so much more energy into yourself, feeling more energized, and something's really capturing your attention. There's like a passion or an exciting thing that's really captivating your attention during the month of May. Adrift as well. Okay, so letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. I feel like this is sort of you being like guided to go into the unknown, to step into the unknown, to step into something new, right? Also, it's getting a little dark in here from the clouds. Let's brighten that up. Okay. Um, I really feel like you're you're at this point moment of your life where you're like, okay, I'm going to stop forcing things and I'm just going to go with the flow where the universe has been guiding me, the feelings that I've been feeling. Um, and I just see you letting go of a lot of rigidness and forcefulness in your life. And I feel like things are going to come back into flow. And I feel like you're going to be really open to like, like hearing things, feeling things, following your intuition. That's kind of what I mean by hearing and feeling things like following your intuition, um, in a really strong way. I feel like your intuition is going to be speaking to you very loudly. Um, I'm also hearing like an important phone call or somebody important that you're talking to. 
that's also coming through. So there could be an important phone call or somebody important that you might be talking to um, that might inspire you more in some way. That is also something that's coming through here. I'm hearing the 17th of May and the 22nd are going to be important dates. So those are important dates as well. Let's go ahead and get some more cards on this reading. Okay. Let's dive into these ones right here and let's see what we get. So group one, the month of May, we have abundance coming through. Let's see what these other ones are as well. Harmony, love that that one came through. And then we also have prosperity. Okay, so I definitely see money increasing for you or you're on the path to increasing your money and finances. That might be something that you've been focused on for a while. Like, how do I do this? How do I increase my finances? How do I, I'm also hearing that you've been wanting to make more time in your life, make more time and increase your abundance, increase your wealth. That is something that is absolutely coming through for you. There's also something that's blooming in your life that you've been really wanting to see progress on. Progress is happening for you in the month of May. If you've been really desiring to make progress on something, yes, that is happening. Progress is coming here. Um, I also feel like you're getting into more balance where you're feeling balanced in your energy. You're feeling balanced in your time and you're on the road to attracting more money into your life. It may come in through the month of May. I'm feeling like May 22nd might be an important date for more money coming in. Um, or at least there's some sort of thing that you're doing right now that is going to pay off in the future. It's going to pay off by August at the latest is what I'm hearing. There will be more money coming your way by August, if not sooner. So keep that in mind as well, especially if you've been trying to attract that. It is coming um, between now and August. So, woo, all good things. Let's go ahead and see what else we get here with this next deck. So... Group one, what else is going on for my group ones in the month of May? So we have the warrior. Ooh, I've been feeling that energy for you. I really just see your confidence coming out and more faith and belief in yourself than you've had in a long, long, long time. Um, there's a lot of cards that wanted to come out from this deck, so we're just going to go with it. So we also have underworld. I feel like you've been having a lot of pressure on you. There's been a lot of pressure that either you put on yourself or that you feel just from responsibilities or other things or other people. That is also something that's going away in the month of May. It's something that's actually made you stronger. So it actually served a good purpose for you, whether you see it or not. Um, it's made you stronger and it's made you more capable, even if you do not see that yet. Because sometimes when we're still feeling a little bit of that pressure and when we just come out of that pressure, um, normally we still feel all of that weight and we don't see the benefit that it gave us yet. I promise you, it gave you benefit. And you are going to see it within the next two months is what I'm hearing. The next two months, you're going to see the benefit of what all the pressure on your life um, actually has been giving to you. It's been giving you a gift, just like how in the underworld, when minerals go under a lot of pressure, they create gems, like literally they create beautiful, beautiful gems. And so what I'm really feeling for you is that the pressure that you've had on your life lately, even if it's been, you know, for a long time, especially if it's been for a long time, that pressure has actually been doing something wonderful you wonderful for you and it's going to pay off and you are going to see what that pressure has done for you very soon um, and again within the next two months is what I'm hearing the next two months you're going to begin to see the gift that 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 pleasure uh, that that pressure has given you and paradox sometimes things are a little bit confusing you know um, just like the example that we're talking about is a little bit of a paradox kind of like how sometimes something negative can actually be the most positive thing sometimes. <laughs> and that's the paradox is sometimes we need the opposite in order to do 
what we want in order to attract what we want. Okay. We also have the card of compassion coming through. I just see you being a lot easier on yourself in the month of May, a lot easier on yourself. I'm getting the vibe that you've been quite hard on yourself. You've been adding a lot of pressure to your life and that, that chapter's done. That chapter's over. I feel like you are getting to a point of a lot more self-love, a lot more ease, a lot more confidence. That's what's coming through. I think you're growing compassion for yourself and it's going to be a beautiful thing. I think it's going to really shift your energy, energy field adjustment. I feel like this energy field adjustment is highly tied to the fact that you are being kinder to yourself. Okay, we also have withdraw coming through. More time to relax, more time to rest. I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of reflecting and, and learning and it's going to uplift you a lot. I see a lot of good energy here. We also have outlaw. Um, I see you ending different habits, ending things that were negative to you, old cycles that were negative. You're like, I need to get rid of that in my life. You might also be um, clearing out your life in a certain way, whether that be getting rid of junk or ending relationships that have been really negative on you. Um, or ending certain patterns or cycles or habits within yourself that have been leading to negativity. You're really ending a negative cycle. Deeply. Deeply ending a negative cycle of your life. It is going to be beautiful. It's going to open up doors that you don't even see yet. Okay? I also feel like there's going to be a big blessing coming into your life within the next three or the next three months, yes, but also the next six months, there's like a big leap that's happening. Um, so there's going to be a lot of changes, as we've been saying throughout this reading. Like <laughs> there's going to be a lot of changes in May and there's going to be a lot of changes up until the month of August is what I'm feeling. But then also the next six months. So right before the end of the year, I feel like there's some sort of big leap that is happening some kind of big leap. So because of the changes that you're making right now, because of all the pressure that you've experienced, it's it's really upgrading you in a big way. Um, but there's going to be some sort of like big manifestation that you're achieving or some sort of big leap that's happening that you're going to you're going to be like, "Wow. Look what I did. Look what look what happened in a good way." Like I really feel like you're going to be looking back and you're going to be like, holy crap, look at all that I did. Like, I'm so surprised and so happy and so excited. Like, that's the energy I'm really feeling um, from from this as well. And I know that we're only talking, this is, this is a reading for the month of May, but here we are and I'm getting messages all the way for six months from now, but we're going with it. I feel like when messages come through, they are meant to be. And before the end of the year, I feel like this is going to happen sometime in December. Mid, Mid-December mid is kind of the vibe I'm getting. I feel like you're going to be like, holy shit. <laughs> like, look at where I ended up. This is incredible. Look at all the progress I made. Like, it's a progress feeling. Um, so... With that being said, let's also go ahead and take our Astro Dice. We're going to take the Zodiac sign dice, roll it three times to get the most um, prominent, most likely Zodiac signs to be in your life um, in the month of May. So let's see who's likely to be in your life. This could be a reflection of somebody's sun, moon, or rising sign, or even a reflection of your own. So let's see. Group one, we have Aries coming through. Not even surprised we have Aries coming through. It's also the Aries new moon right now. We also have Gemini. And Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Taurus, by the way, I have a message for you. If you have been doing any kind of like specific manifesting around this new moon, um, whatever you're manifesting right now, I really feel like is going to come true within that six month mark. Uh, so if you've already done some manifestation by the time you're watching this, like if you were, you know, on the vibes with that new moon and you're like, I'm going to manifest some stuff on, on this day. 
I really feel like those things are happening for you. Even if you missed that mark, whatever it is that's been going on in your mind that you've been really wanting to manifest, I feel like that's that's going to be things that are really accumulating and making big progress by December. Big progress. So those are our top three zodiac signs. We had Aries, Gemini, and Taurus. So those might be the most prominent ones for you in the month of May. That could be somebody's sun, moon, or rising sign. And let's go ahead and roll all these together to get any last info for you. So we have Mars in Pisces. Ooh, creativity coming through um, in the 11th house. A lot of creativity and expansion. Expansion. You might even be planning travel, planning a project, planning some kind of expansion in your life. Yeah, I'm hearing planning travel or planning some sort of expansion, planning something to where it impacts the world in some way, impacts clients is something I'm hearing as well, something that's really positive, something that's more creative. I feel like you're expanding your creativity and expanding on an idea. That is what's coming through at the very end over here and taking action upon it. So my beautiful group number ones, thank you so much for joining me here today for your month of May prediction for the month or month of May of 2023. Um, So thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you so much love and I will see you next time. Bye. Okay, so my beautiful group number twos, if you chose this pile, let's find out what's happening for you in the month of May. Okay, group two, let's see what comes up for you for may of 2023 we already have one card coming out the three of wands Ooh, okay let's see what else we get for you here three of wands there's some sort of expansion happening for you in the month of may and i feel like there's going to be an important friend in your life a really important friend that's helping you through something to guide you through something We also have Wheel of Fortune coming through, the chariot being reversed. Um, I'm getting the feeling of some sort of choice or some sort of crossroads in your life. A shift in direction and kind of trying to decide on something. So if there's a big choice that's in your life right now, I feel like this is the month of figuring it out and getting all the info that you need in order to make the right decision for you. I'm getting the sense of like, um, like, fear around this decision like fear like what if I make the wrong choice what if I make the wrong choice and I feel like this friend is specifically like holding your hand through this choice and being like like giving you encouraging feelings um and this friend I feel like has good intentions for you wants the best to happen for you um lots of three energy coming through and then the six of swords okay So the reason why I feel like this choice has felt kind of push or pull is because both directions have some sort of maybe pain associated with it and some sort of pleasure associated with it. Like there's good and bad for both decisions. However, spirit wants you to think about your long term happiness not the short term but the long term and sometimes in order to gain long-term happiness in order to gain true fulfillment sometimes we make we need to make a sacrifice in the present to get what we really want long term sometimes we need to say no to something in the present in order to get what we want in the long term and that's what i'm really feeling for you right now is there's something that you truly, truly desire, but it might require saying no to something right now in order to get what you really want in the future. Um, Spirit's giving me examples of like working out and needing healthy. So working out and eating healthy, (laughs) um, those are things that we need to make sacrifices in the present, such as you know, sacrificing spare time in order to work out or sacrificing really tasty, yummy food in order to gain the results of the future of health and wellness, right? So um, I'm seeing you moving away from something that, you know, it might give you pleasure in the present moment, but is it providing you what you want in the long term? Is it? 
Sometimes we need to say no to something in order to shift our path towards what we really want. And I'm seeing you making that change in the month of May. I'm seeing you making that change in the month of May. And I'm seeing a friend really helping you through this, through this decision um, and sharing with you their own personal experience or maybe they're going through something similar or have gone through something similar. And I feel like it's going to be really helpful, but I just see you expanding yourself into something new. Do you know the potentials of what is on your horizon group two? Because if you knew... I feel like this decision would be so easy. I feel like sometimes you worry that if you go into this new direction, like, are your dreams possible? I feel like that's something, like a question that's on your mind often is, are my dreams really possible? Can I actually get what I want? Or should I settle for just the way that things are right now? Spirit is coming through with a message for you saying that, if only you knew what is possible. If only you knew what is possible out there. There is <laughs> so much more out there for you to experience, for you to get in your life. And you deserve happiness. You deserve fulfillment. You are meant to to fulfill the desires that you have. But when we stay stuck on like um, short-term pleasure, short-term satisfaction, and when we avoid the growing pains of moving towards our actual highest goals, we end up holding ourselves back. I'm getting the message that there's like growing pains involved in getting what you really want. Growing pains or some sort of like short-term like sacrifice that we have to make in order to get there. So what is that, right? Um, I just see you making this decision and it's going to be one of the best decisions that you've ever made. I feel like this is going to be an extremely pivotal moment of your life, actually. The month of May is an extremely pivotal moment of change that you are not going to regret. Trust me, like what's coming up in these cards here, you are not going to regret this decision. This is the time where you shift your destiny in a whole new direction and it's really going to pay off. I feel like you're going to have people that are supporting you, people that are helping you, and I feel like this is eventually going to be a celebration. This choice that you're making in the month of May is leading towards a future celebration of you being like, hallelujah. Like that's the words that that's the word that is coming to my head from spirit is this word of hallelujah. Hallelujah that I made that choice back in May of 2023. Hallelujah that I trusted that there is more out there for me. Hallelujah that I trusted that I can achieve what I desire. Thank God I chose to shift and take control of my destiny and not keep repeating the same things and not staying stuck on the same thing. There's this energy where spirit is saying, don't stay stuck on the same thing that's not giving you the results that you want. It's time to move forward. It's time to move on. And sometimes it can hurt to move on. Sometimes it can be like, dang, I know that I need to let go of this. I know that I need to, but it's so hard. <laughs> um, it's going to get easier. That's one thing spirit wants to say. It is going to get easier but you know what you need to do. There's this energy that you know what you need to do. And I really feel like the month of May is about cultivating trust in your future, cultivating trust that you're going to achieve exactly what it is that you want. But it requires shifting your path and committing to that path. Rather than staying right here, we need to go and move forward. Okay. And the month of May is all about that for you. The month of May is all about that. And I'm just seeing you being surrounded by the most supportive people. And I really see you celebrating this in the future. You are going to be celebrating this in the future. In fact, it's going to be this year 
this same year of 2023 that you are going to be celebrating this decision. You are going to be celebrating this choice later on this year. I feel like even three months from now, because there's so much three energy here. The number three is so significant. I feel like three months from now, you are going to be celebrating this decision. You're going to be like, oh my God, if only I knew how good it would feel to get beyond what I was attached to. To free myself of what I was attached to. Right? That's a message that's coming through so powerfully. I see you celebrating this shift. This is going to be so positive for you. It's going to lead you to one of the best places that you've ever been, to be honest. And you won't have to worry about your, your boat rocking anymore. Like if we use the metaphor of your life as a boat, it's kind of like there's something that's been causing you to go up and down like this. <laughs> my camera's trying to focus on my hand and it's like going all over the place. But you know what I mean? Like it feels like your life has been very like, whoo, like, we don't know what we're going to get one day to the next. And um, whatever this decision is, is helping that emotional roller coaster no longer happen. You are ending the emotional roller coaster. And you are moving to smoothness. To where you're like, oh, that's smooth sailing from here on out. Like you're moving towards that through the decisions and the choices that you're making in the month of May. So let's go ahead and see what else we get for you. Um, we're going to take out this next deck of cards here. And let's see, group two. What else do we have going on for group two in the month of May? Spirit, by the way, they got your back on this choice. They're like, they're like, we, we got you. We're helping you through it. And they promise that good things are coming. Your guides right now are like, I promise, I promise, I promise you are not going to regret the decision of moving towards what you know you are meant to do. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and see <laughs> what else we get here. Um, so we have freedom, calling back your freedom. Calling back your freedom is so important to no longer be stuck on something that's controlling your emotions. It's controlling your well-being. This is time of you being free to make your decision and, and calling back your power and calling back your freedom. Independence. Independence and self-determination. Becoming so determined on what it is that you want that you're no longer going to let anything stand in your way at all. We also have Song of the Siren coming through. The call, summoning, voice, and to acknowledge. What is it that we need to accept and acknowledge? And what's calling us right now? Where are we being summoned to? What is it that we need to accept and acknowledge? It's a huge, powerful thing coming through. Oh, oh, I'm getting goosebumps. We also have the card of vulnerability. Open your heart and allow yourself to be tender. I feel like there's something here where we need to process some kind of emotion. There's emotional processing happening in the month of May. Emotional processing. And there are people here to support you through this emotional processing. But the month of May is about letting yourself be open and allowing those, don't, not repressing, no longer repressing emotions, allowing your heart to open and allowing yourself to process, allowing yourself to be tender getting to know yourself on that level, healing yourself, your heart, and knowing that you are making the right choice by moving towards your expansion and your highest and greatest good. Okay. We also have farewell. Farewell. What do we need to say goodbye to? What do we need to say goodbye to? This says for farewell to the moon. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. Oh, and I'm, I'm literally filming this on the new moon solar eclipse in Aries. That's really cool that we have this card coming up too. So 
Um, I feel like there's going to be significant things happening around the full and new moons in May. I actually don't know when those are yet because I haven't pulled the astrology charts yet. Um, but appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. I believe we're having another um, eclipse in the beginning half of May. I need to look into that again, but I'm pretty sure that there's another um, eclipse happening then. But anyway, farewell to the moon. What do we need to say goodbye to? What do we need to let go of? And letting go of something on a new moon can be very, or sorry, on a full moon can be very powerful because full moons are all about letting things go and closing chapters. Okay. But of course, if you feel like saying goodbye before the full moon, please do so. Um, whatever it is that we need to let go of, but there's something here that's coming through that we need to let go of. And we need to trust that we're so capable of building the future that we want and expanding into that. So let's go ahead and see what else we get for you. My beautiful group twos. All right, let's see what these cards are. We have courage, the courage to make these decisions, these choices. And then we also have joy. I'm really feeling like you're going to be celebrating this in the future. Like we have so many cards confirming that there's such a celebration happening in the future based on this decision that you're making. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to be celebrating this so deeply in the future. The courage to move forward, being emotionally vulnerable, allowing yourself to be tender, to process those emotions, saying goodbye to, to something, saying goodbye to a chapter of your life and saying goodbye to an old you. And the courage to step forward into the strongest version of you, the most faithful, trusting and determined version of you. That's what's got to come through here. And that's what you're going to be building in the month of May. That's what you're going to be building. Let's see what else we have. Let's see. Okay, there's some that fell on the floor here. And I'm throwing astrodice around. So we have the universe taking control back over your life rather than letting life control you. Rather than, I feel like someone has their strings on you a little bit. Like someone, you've been allowing someone to call the shots. You've been allowing someone to control the way that you feel. You've been giving too much power to someone else or to something outside of you. This could be something outside of you. It doesn't have to deal with another person. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is another person who like, like has control over your emotions, like their choices, the things that they decide have been really affecting our emotions. And I really feel like it's time for us to separate from that. Again, this doesn't have to be a person. This could be something like a habit or something that we're attached to. There's something that you're attached to. This is about cutting strings so that you can t get back control over your life and your universe. It's time to cut those, those ties. There's something you're cutting ties with to a habit, to a person maybe, um, and it's going to help you out. We also have the Ascension card so that you can finally fly. There's been a ball and chain that's had you weighed down held back. What is that thing? And how do we set ourselves free? This is about your freedom. And we literally had the freedom card come through. This is about your freedom. Okay. Sorry, my camera's really blurry. So it might be hard to see that, but we literally had the freedom card and there's something that we need to cut ties with so that we can ascend so that we can fly again. If we've been wondering why it's been hard to fly, it's because we've been attached to something that isn't that great for us? Okay, so now we're going to take our astro dice. We're going to roll this three times to get the most top three most prominent zodiac signs that are most likely to be in your life in the month of May. This could be somebody's sun, moon, or rising sign, or even a reflection of your own. So let's see those prominent people in your life. So we have uh, Pisces coming through. That looked like Gemini for a second. We also have Aquarius. So Pisces, Aquarius. And for some reason, I feel like saying Gemini. Um, and Cancer. Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer. And for some reason, I'm also feeling the zodiac sign of a Gemini for some of you. So that could be a reflection of your own zodiac signs or someone that you know that might be the most prominent in your life. Sun, moon, or rising sign. So that is what we have there. And now we're going to roll all these together to get any last info for you. So 
we have Neptune, ooh, Neptune in Scorpio in the third house. Communicating deep things, going in deep, thinking about getting your mind on track. I feel like there's creativity coming through mentally. There's um, thinking outside of the box is happening a lot. I also feel like you're attracting somebody in your life where there's going to be really in-depth conversations that helps you see like your potential. And what you desire is not just fantasy. That's a message coming through here. What you desire is not just fantasy. What you desire can be reality, but it depends on our choices and if we're willing to have faith and go for it. Okay, so that is what we have here. I'm also hearing the message of um, taking off rose colored glasses when it comes to another thing, like something that you're, we might be attached to and we're like, oh, that, that's going to get better one day. That's going to get better one day. If it hasn't proven itself thus far, <laughs> it's time to let go of those things <laughs> and move towards what we truly want. So what do we truly want and what is not matching up to that? And what do we need to do to move towards what it is that we truly want? So those are the messages coming through for you. Group number two, that is the month of May. You are moving towards something so great. You are setting up an amazing future for yourself where your dreams will become a reality. Whatever choice it is that you're facing right now, trust me, that choice is going to lead you to the most amazing places if you make that choice to follow what it is that you really, really want, you let go of whatever's chaining you and holding you back from that and move towards having faith in what you really want and what you really dream of. That is what we have coming through for you. So group two, I'm getting goosebumps again. Whew. So many goosebumps. I feel like your spirit guides are actually coming through right now really strong. They might have a message. Let me see. Um, continuous goosebumps oh there is a message so we kind of touched on this earlier the decisions that you are making in may i feel like you are going to be celebrating them very soon trust that spirit wants to end on this message trust that the decisions that you make this month as long as you have faith and you move towards what it is you really want and you continue to have faith in that and then process those old emotions so that you can continue moving forward, this decision is going to pay off very quickly for you. You won't have to wait around very long for this decision to show you progress and to um, bring you what you desire. I really feel like it's happening within like three months. <laughs> what you desire is like, coming into your life because you're you're going to be able to fly when you cut off these strings that have been holding you back you're going to be able to fly and your ability to manifest what it is that you've been wanting is going to become really easy because you're going to be able to get to that level of what you've been wanting does that make sense so anyway that's the message that spirit wanted to leave us off with today thank you so much for joining me here my beautiful group number twos i'm sending you so much love through this next month it is going to be such a beautiful pivotal moment for you that is going to bring you what you desire so sending you so much love and i will see you next time bye all right, so my beautiful group number threes if you chose this pile this is going to be a reading so let's go ahead and hop right into it Okay, so group three, let's see what we get for you. Group three, the month of May. Three of wands, this one came out for the last group. Oh, wow, okay. Maybe some of you are also drawn to group two. Who knows? Three of wands, energy, there's some sort of expansion, although I'm feeling like your expansion is a bit different than the last group. We also have four of wands, 
three of wands, four of wands, two consecutive cards there. Um, you're moving towards building a very strong foundation, something that's pretty lasting, actually. Um, there's something that I think you're either going to be working on or progress that you're making that's going to build a particular foundation for your future. And this is, again, something very long lasting. This could deal with business or family um, or your home life. Expansion in the home life within your foundation. Some of you might be um, graduating or moving towards like graduating something or moving towards like acceptance of something, acceptance of a job, a career, um, something that's going to really pay off in your future. We also have the sun card and the eight of crystals being reversed. Okay. This is also a month of cutting out distractions from your life. Um, and spending more time focusing on your happiness, I see. Spending more time focusing on your happiness this next month. I feel like this is a month where there is going to be an, um, an uplifting feeling of your happiness. I'm also hearing that some of you have not been getting enough vitamin D. So either you haven't been spending enough time outside in the sun or... Yeah, something along along the lines of that. However, in the month of May, I see you um, getting more sunlight. And Spirit has a message for some of you to focus on getting more vitamin D. Um, so if that is relevant for you, if that feels like it resonates, then that should be possibly a focus for this next month. Um, we also have the King of Crystals being reversed. So there's a message also of not overworking yourself, not overworking. I think some of you have a tendency to overwork or push yourselves too hard, which could also be why I'm picking up on a vitamin D deficiency, because maybe, maybe you spend a lot of time inside focusing on getting things done all the time without you know, enough leisure time, enough outside time. And maybe that is what's contributing to this whole vitamin D situation here. Um, but the three of wands and the four of wands, there's definitely some sort of progress that you are making towards um, building a stronger foundation for yourself, something that's quite reliable, something that's quite exciting, actually. I feel like for some of you, this could be business or some sort of celebration where we're graduating or expanding our family expanding our home, any of those types of things. Again, it is a general reading, so sometimes we can't get entirely too specific, but it could be all of the above for some of you as well. Um, and distractions are being cut out and overworking because sometimes overworking can be a distraction. Sometimes we are distracting ourselves from the feelings of being inadequate or we're distracting ourselves from the feelings that we are not enough. And that can be why we overwork ourselves. We might be distracting ourselves from the fear that we're never going to make it, right? And so overworking can actually be a distraction in of, in of itself. Um, I also feel like there's been certain ways that spirit wants to say that you've been spending your time that you've been kind of realizing isn't the way that you want to continue spending your time. So I feel like you're going to be shifting around how you spend your time. I'm seeing you getting more time outside more time in the sun. I feel like wherever it is that you live, um, I feel like there's going to be some days in May that are very sunny. And I feel like you're just going to be like, you know what? Today's a day that I'm going to get outside and I'm going to start spending more time outside. You might also be feeling that already. Um, but I'm also seeing this brightness and this happiness coming from within you because of this new sort of exciting foundation that's being laid out in your life. This new foundation. I feel like you're also shifting up how you spend your time. Um, I'm also feeling like you are spending less money in order to um, maybe just start saving more or saving for some sort of foundation. I see you spending less money and focusing on what really matters. There's a part of you that wants a deeper fulfillment and wants to discover what really matters in life. And I feel like you're going to be moving more towards the energies of what truly matters to you. Getting rest. Ooh, that's coming through strong. Getting the rest that you need. Getting the sleep that you need. I see you also balancing your circadian rhythm. So I see you becoming more... 
um, focused on when do I go to sleep versus when do I wake up and how do I make sure that I'm energized and focusing on making sure that your energy is um, optimal. There's something here where you might be focused on, on becoming more optimal in your energy. So maybe you're doing certain things, learning different things about how to shift your sleep or to shift your um, yourself to just have more energy in your life. So let's go ahead and get some more cards on this reading to see what else we have here. I feel like there's more messages to get into here, but I'm being called to put more cards on this reading. So let's see. Group three, what else do we have for you? What else do we have for my group threes? I always get a particular feeling about my group threes, so I don't know if you choose this pile really often. Maybe you're, you regularly choose group three or something, but I always get this feeling about my group threes that you are like... Um, very connected to spirit, whether you realize it or not. Um, I'm getting this feeling like you're very connected to spirit and you have a lot of like intuitive gifts. I feel like some of you are really into manifesting as well. Like that's a message I get for you as well. Like you're really into manifesting and that you're actually a really good manifester. Okay. We also have guide coming through. <laughs> you might be really connected to your spirit guides or close to them, whether you realize it or not. Um, Maybe you have certain practices where you like to ask your spirit guides to send you messages or something, something along the lines of that. But I always get this feeling like you're very intuitive, intuitively gifted. Let's see what else we get for you. Naturally intuitively gifted, actually. So because everyone like has an intuition. Everyone's has the gift of intuition. However, I feel like naturally intuition comes to you very easily and you're very connected to yours. So let's see what else we get for you. We also have sisterhood and fertility coming through. Ooh, that's fun. Um, for some of you, you might be planning for your future when it comes to your future family um, or when it comes to the future of what you want to create because fertility doesn't always have to mean children. It can also mean like our career that we're building, for example. That can be like our baby. Our creative projects can be our baby, right? Um, and I feel like the month of May is going to be something where you're planning more about what you want to create in this world, what you want to bring into this world, who you want to become. There's a huge energy about planning out who you want to become, setting the foundation for what you want to bring into this world, whether that be actual kids or, you know, a type of career or a type of creative thing or what you, what kind of impact you want to have. I also feel like you're setting your foundation of where you want to root yourself, the type of life you want to root yourself to. That's going to be another big thing that I feel like you're building in the month of May. Um, this sisterhood card, I feel like there's also going to be great times of spending times with the people that you love. I feel like you might also be connecting to a new friend. There could be a new person coming into your life or someone you're just getting closer with. But I am feeling like friendship is a thing, like a prominent thing for you in the month of May. Spending more time with friends or somebody kind of new and important coming into your life or at least that you're getting closer to somebody that you already know. Yeah, that is what I'm feeling there. Let's go ahead and get some more cards onto this reading for you. So group three, what else is happening for my group threes in the month of May? We have beauty coming through. You could also be focused on up-leveling yourself in some way. Like maybe there's something that you've been wanting to improve on in yourself. Maybe like learning a new way of getting ready, a new way of doing your makeup or like Something new here with beauty, like maybe getting your hair done, um, changing something up. There's definitely a message for that. So you might be somehow focusing on improving yourself, doing things. Oh, I feel like you might be even doing something to like for yourself, doing something for yourself, such as getting a massage or getting a facial or again, getting your hair done or something like that. I see you doing something for yourself 
to make you feel more enhanced, more luscious, more exuberant. Um, And there's a lot of like, I feel like you have so many ideas, group three, that it's sometimes a little bit heavy on your mind because you have so many ideas. That's a message that I have coming through. You have ideas coming through nonstop. And I feel like it's because you actually have a very open crown chakra, open to the point where we might have it open a little bit too much. <laughs> and we keep receiving all of these ideas. Um, And I feel like the month of May is about you picking an idea that you really want to act on, picking the most important ideas to you. And thinking about how can I actually set in motion and commit to this so that I get it done and I don't get distracted with a billion other ideas that I get every day. Sometimes when we get too many ideas, we try to do too many things all at once to the point where we just get stuck, you know? Um, And I feel like you're going to be clearing up your time, clearing up your schedule and asking yourself the important questions of what's the most important to me? And what do I really, really, really want to commit to and focus on? That is going to be the biggest thing. And spirit is also saying that that is something that you should 100% do. In fact, as you're listening to this reading, make a promise to yourself that today, even maybe right now, um, as you finish up this reading, we still have some more cards to pull. But however, do not forget to make a list and list out what are your most important ideas that you actually want to act on and what can we maybe like let go of instead of like having a billion ideas going at once, pick like your top three or four things that you're like, I really want to commit to making these happen. And the other things we can put on a second priority list and maybe we can come back to those once we're done and finished some of the other things, once we're fully finished, instead of bouncing back between all these things. Um, So that's one thing that's coming through. If some of you have a tendency to like start a book and you like read the first 10 pages, but then there's another new book that comes and you're like, oh, that's so exciting. I feel like there's also, there's also a message from spirit, like finish one book at a time and fully finish it before you move on to the next. And that way you're not so caught up in all these different directions to the point where we're stuck. Like imagine that you're walking, but then let's say that your body, like your arm wants to go left and your other arm wants to go right. And then your leg wants to go backwards. Then your other leg wants to go forward. Like your whole body would just end up being stuck because all these forces are pulling you in all these different directions to the point where there's no more movement. However, when we can pick a small amount of things that we want, let's say that we're like, okay, I'm going to listen to my arm that wants to go right. And I'm going to listen to the leg that wants to go forward that's something that's doable because you can go forward and right at the same time. (laughs) You know what I mean? But you can't go in all these different directions at once. You're just going to end up getting stuck because all these forces are just, it, it, yeah, they work against each other if we take on too many things. So anyway, that's a random message that wanted to come through. I'm sure you get the point, (laughs) but let's go ahead and get some more cards on this reading for you. So let's see what else is happening in May for my group threes. You're highly creative, by the way. You are a highly creative person, like above average, highly creative. And I feel like that's why you get a lot of ideas all the time. Highly creative. Um, And ascension is coming through. Beautiful. You're definitely up leveling yourself in some way, giving more freedom to yourself. And I feel like as you free up your time and as you choose the few most important things that you want to commit to, this is going to help you actually begin to make progress, especially if you've been feeling stuck lately or if you just felt like you're not fully making progress on any one thing. This is going to really help you actually make significant progress very quickly. In fact, I feel like your life's going to start moving very quickly again. We also have nature coming through here nature spending more time outside i was kind of feeling that in the beginning and this just came through in this card too spending more time outside spending more time in nature forest bathing might really recuperate your energy and help your intuition clear up we also have get creative so it's time to act on those creative juices and pick your top ones that you want to commit to and then like let's go let's do it um I also feel like there's a new creative thing coming your way that's actually going to be really like exciting. You might already know what that is already and Spirit's just saying like, yes, let's go for that. And then higher perspective is coming through. And then we also have shadow. Um, 
the word fears is coming through. So what is it that we fear and how can we gain a higher perspective on that fear so that we can see that it does not have to control us anymore? So gain a higher perspective. Do we really need to um, hold on to this fear and let it completely hold us back? Or maybe is this fear just a silly little thing that we can just say, hey, let me work past that. Fears can be the biggest things that hold us back. They do have a time and place because they can help protect us. However, sometimes the ego wants to overprotect to the point that we don't move forward anymore. And I really feel like you're going to be gaining higher perspectives on things that you've feared before and how to overcome them so that you can continue moving forward in life. So that is what we have there for your month of May. We're also going to be rolling our Astro Dice. We're going to start with the Zodiac Sign Dice. We're going to roll three times to get the top three um, most likely most prominent zodiac sign th signs that are going to be in your life. This could be a reflection of somebody's sun, moon, or rising sign, or even a reflection of your own. So let's go ahead and see what we get for you. So group three, we have Leo, Leo, sun, moon, or rising, Cancer, sun, moon, or rising, and Libra. So Leo, Cancer, and Libra, sun, moon, and rising seem to be the most prominent that will be in your life in some way, shape, or form uh, through the month of May. Again, that could be a reflection of somebody else's or even your own. So let's go ahead and see any last info on your reading. So we have Mercury. Ooh. And Mercury is in Pisces in the 11th house. Planning, planning creative things, getting organized. Your mind is so creative, but it's time to think outside of the box and realize that you don't need to hold yourself back. We don't need to come up with all these different ideas because, you know, what if this thing doesn't work out? Or what if I don't make it all that way? And maybe I can settle for less. Like, no, let's just go. Let's just go all in. What can we go all in on? What can we expand on the most? How can we allow ourselves to be the most creative? And let's go. And we don't need to wait until we're like, like, oh my God, this is like the greatest idea ever. Like if we're not getting ourselves all the way there, that can grow along the way as long as we take the first step. So what is it that is most exciting to you? How can we make it the most exciting? And then let's commit to it. Let's fully commit to it. And let's make it happen. You have the ability to make things happen. I'm also getting a, a vibe of social media because the 11th house can deal with social media Pisces can deal with the media and Mercury can also deal with the media in some way. So some of you, there may be something with social media expansion or putting yourself out there or, or networking. This could also talk about networking and meeting the people that we really need to. There could be somebody really important that you're connecting with or that you are about to connect with at some point this year. But I'm also just seeing expansion in general, expansion in general, improving your presence, improving your presence. That's another word that's coming through or another sentence, I guess. So yeah, in some way, shape or form that will be applicable. <laughs> um, uh, I'm also hearing expansion in the world, expanding your horizons expanding your horizons, expanding your talents. Ooh, I'm hearing about learning something new and developing a new skill that's going to play a part in you being able to expand further. You, this might be happening by reading a book or this might be happening through online learning, something like this. So that's another message that is also coming through here. So my beautiful group number threes, thank you so much for joining me here for today's video. I'm sending you so much love right now and through your month of May and through all of everything and through the whole universe. So anyway, thank you again for being here and I will see you next time. Bye. Okay, so my group number fours, if you chose this beautiful pile that is reminding me of a fantasy fairy tale, um, this is going to be your reading for the month of May. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, so group four, let's find out the energies of the month of May. Six of Pentacles, you know what is crazy? When I was laying down the 
the groups at the piles for some reason when i put this one down i had a vision of doing this reading and that the six of pentacles was going to come out and i got a download of a message when i put that pile down i was like that would be really funny if that card ended up coming out and if, like it's the first card that just flies out of this deck this deck that's so weird okay so the message that i got um in the beginning with the six of pentacles was something that you've been really wanting help with or something that you've been asking the universe for is coming your way you're about to get the relief that you've needed you are about to get the support that you've needed it is coming through you're about to find what it is that you've been looking for the support is coming through and the relief of an issue is coming through so if you've been stressed about something and if you've been like universe please help me with this please help me with this the relief is coming through in the month of may the means and the ways the abundance is coming through the universe also wants you to know that you deserve abundance and you do not need to settle for less some of you have almost been asking the question of um like is this something that i deserve did i do something wrong am i not worthy of more or like why is this happening why am i attracting this why am i going through this stress how how have i been attracting the stress and the universe really wants to relieve you of that stress the universe spirit nature the world your guides god says that you don't deserve that stress and that you deserve more you deserve more from life the reason why it's been coming i feel like it's been slightly different for each of you it does play a part in the bigger picture of things however relief is coming it will not be stressing you out any further i'm getting goosebumps right now your guides are coming through so strongly saying that this is also about teaching you to believe in yourself and to believe that you are worthy of more this is coming through to also teach you self-worth that you should see yourself as worthy of more and that it is not a bad thing to want more and to seek more it's not a bad thing it all depends on your perspective and your view of it okay also i just realized that the camera was totally out of focus there while i was talking about that it was focused on my hand but anyway that's the message that was coming through there let's see what else oh we got the empress coming through this is hugely teaching you about self-worth this is a month where you are leveling up your self-worth realizing that you deserve more and not settling for less not accepting less we have all these upright cards look at this we also have page of cups coming through queen of wands lots of feminine energy lots of feminine energy you are connecting to your divine feminine so instead of instead of feeling the uh the energy of i need to work super hard to gain abundance or i need to give something so great to deserve abundance this is tapping into the divine feminine energy that you are part of the balance of the world and the world and mother nature is here to take care of us we provide balance back and forth it is this beautiful reciprocative energy and when we're doing well other things do well when we're doing bad that does that's not really playing the best contribution to the world when we do well we can uplift others to do well we can inspire others to do well we can show others what's possible um you deserve to do well okay you deserve to do well i'm hearing a flourishing energy coming your way a harvest something that you've been wanting to attract you will be harvesting the universe is here to provide what you've been needing and to bring you more abundance i'm hearing wealth is a thing so some of you have maybe been stressed about finances stressed about money um i'm hearing that there's going to be opportunities to bring in more money into your life or to take action on that in some way to bring in more money um page of cups as well there is something new that you're going to be cultivating a new feeling of seeing your worth i feel like your your emotions 
are going to be going through a shift where you're going to be cultivating very positive emotions and getting ideas to think outside of the box. I think there's a new creative idea coming your way that's going to help you think outside the box. You'll be like, ooh, that's exciting. Why didn't I think of that before? That's fun. That's a good thought. I'm going to act on that. I'm going to move towards that. Queen of Wands is also super inspiring. It's realizing your power, taking your power back. Taking your confidence back. Confidence is always there. We just need to tap into it. It's just a feeling. Confidence is just a feeling. And we can cultivate and create any feeling at any time. And I feel like you're learning how to cultivate the feeling of confidence. The feeling of worthiness. The feeling of more energy. And believing in yourself, creating inspiration. That's also a feeling. Inspiration is, is an emotion. And again, we can cultivate any emotion. You're learning how to cultivate new emotions that are going to really pay off in your life. Um, more abundance. And I see you really taking care of yourself. If you've been neglecting yourself in any way, group four, if you've been kind of neglecting any part about yourself or just not giving yourself enough love or not giving yourself enough self-care, that is also shifting in the month of May. Um, I feel like you're going to have more energy to put towards yourself and I feel like you're really going to be feeling yourself in the month of May. I'm also hearing that a personal issue is clearing up in the month of May. So whether you've been worried about your skin lately or you've been worried about your diet or your fitness or growing your hair even, making it long and and embracing who you are. Like somehow something's getting better in the month of May, I keep hearing. Like again, that could be skin, diet, fitness, anything that's kind of been going on that you've been sort of like down on yourself about. I feel like you're finding a solution for that. Something that's going to help clear up, clear up something in your life. Let's go ahead and see. Let's get one more card from tarot here let's see oh we got two more cards spirit said no we're having two more cards we have the five of swords and also the ace of cups ace of cups is reversed here um something that you've been feeling drained and empty about what has been draining your energy that's a big question spirit wants to ask you right now um so group four what has been draining your energy what have we been doing that afterwards we feel like Wow, I just wasted my time on that. I just like wasted some of my energy. What are those things? It could be wasting time on social media, wasting time on our phone, uh, doing something that's draining your energy. It could be a person that we're giving a lot of our time to, or it could be a lack of self-care, a lack of nourishment, properly nourishing ourselves. In what way have you been feeling unfulfilled or drained? Because the month of May is also about confronting that and fixing that. That's why we have this Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords. The month of May is going to be heavily around fixing the emotions of feeling drained, being drained, or a lack of fulfillment in something. I feel like there's going to be a a confrontation that we have to make either with ourselves And, oh, I also feel like you've been kind of hard on yourself lately, especially when it comes to feeling drained or maybe allowing our time to just slip through our fingers, um, allowing our energy to kind of slip through our fingers. You've been kind of hard on yourself about that. Spirit's saying, don't be hard on yourself. Just focus on what you want to change and just make the changes that you need. And I also feel like May is going to be the, the month where you do make those changes and you begin cultivating these new feelings, this new power within yourself. And I feel like you're going to be getting over this old distraction and coming back to this feeling of like, oh, I'm in control of myself. I'm in control of my life. Let me like put time and energy into myself. Spirit's also giving you a message to focus on what makes you feel good. So in the moment, you know, when we're living our day-to-day life and we have a choice of whether we can do something that is going to make us feel good, but it might take a little bit of push 
to get us to do it, you know, like taking care of ourselves and doing a face mask and going to the gym and eating healthy. Like it can take a little bit of a push to get there. However, once we do it, we always feel so good after, don't we? We always feel like, dang, that was good. Or if we like meditate or do yoga or whatever, sometimes it takes a push for us to get there because we might not feel like doing it at first, but then afterwards we're like, oh hell yeah, that felt good. That felt really fulfilling. That felt you know, so good that I did that. I feel really proud of myself versus the things that in the moment we might be like, yeah, all I feel like doing is scrolling through TikTok or all I feel like doing is eating a pizza right now and watching TV. Even though inside of you, you're like, oh, I know I really would rather like go to the gym, but it's going to require a lot of energy to push myself there. It's going to require a lot of energy to push myself to meditate or do whatever. So then we end up taking the easy route and it's just like, okay, let's warm up a pizza and then go watch TV. Like those types of things. And then afterwards we feel like, like, frick, another day that I didn't do the thing that I actually wanted to do. <laughs> There's, I feel like some of you have been struggling with that feeling. The month of May is about switching that around and spirit really wants again to ask you the question, what makes you feel good afterwards and what gives you an uplifting feeling afterwards rather than what gives you the uplifting feeling for a quick little, you know what I mean? Because sometimes those things end up draining our energy and we're just like disappointed at the end. Stop doing the things that make you disappointed, okay? That is a message from spirit to discontinue doing the things that make you feel disappointed and empty. There's a feeling of emptiness that spirit is wanting to address and spirit is saying, let's end those things because the month of May, we can totally switch things around here. And these cards that we have right here are so powerful. They are so positive. And the more that we can move towards that, and the more that we can let go of those empty things, your life is going to shift in a powerful, powerful way. I also feel like this... Um, as you move towards the things that do bring you that fulfillment and that satisfaction and that proudness and that feeling of like accomplishment, the feeling of success, the more that you move towards those things, let me tell you, it is going to pay off massively. You might not even see it in the present moment, but wow, <laughs> wow, is it ever going to pay off? I feel like there's like a a spark of something beginning as you kind of do those things. There's going to be a spark of new ideas, a spark of new power, a spark of new inspiration, and this spark of balance where you're going to be able to achieve so much more than what you thought possible. And one of the biggest contributing factors to feeling this imbalance right now has been because we're, we're spending our time doing those things that afterwards we're like, I feel disappointed about that. I feel empty. That didn't actually provide me what I wanted. If you end those things, I am telling you, it is going to shift your life. And it's those things, the disappointment type of things that have been actually creating this imbalance that we have. Okay, let's go ahead and take our next deck of cards and let's see other messages that we have for your month of May. Group four, there's a magical energy within you, by the way, a magical energy. This angel aura quartz right over here. Uh, when you chose this group, like I had this feeling, this magical, like fairy tale feeling about this group. And I also had the feeling that the six of pentacles was going to come up for you. So I know that these messages were somehow correlated um, and meant to be spoken about, but there is a dreamy side of you that is so capable of so much, but we need to move towards taking action towards that what would the highest and best version of yourself be who would you need to be to create that fantasy life of yours that the life that you dream of the version of yourself that you're like oh that's so inspiring that's so amazing like who would you need to become in order to be more like that fantasy dream self Write all those things down and let's start taking action towards that. Let's start taking action towards that because, oh, is that ever going to pay off? I feel like you are on this journey of, of awakening an inner power. You're on this journey of awakening a higher version of yourself. But it starts with ending these things, these draining, unfulfilling things. It starts with ending those and then implementing new things that are like, oh, that's nice. That is nice. Um... Spending 
more time in nature is coming through. That one came up, that message came up for the last group too, like spending more time in nature, but I feel like it's also coming up for you. Um, animals really like you as well. You have a, a gift with animals. Even wild animals really like you, by the way, and they can feel your energy. I don't know why that message is coming through, but it is coming through anyway. Lemuria Returns is our next card over here. This one says, earthly spirituality. Ooh, connecting back to the earth, the nature around you, community, and then ocean conservation. So how can we conserve our energy? It's through doing things that bring you that sense of satisfaction, the sense of achievement, success, and fulfillment that actually brings us energy rather than makes us feel drained or empty. So focusing on those things. We also have the card of visions. So psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing, out-of-body travel. What is the vision that you want to move closer towards? What do you want to move closer towards? Also, Spirit is saying that your dreams have been very significant. If you've had a significant dream lately, or if you do within the next like few weeks... It is speaking symbolically to you, symbolically. They're not always like direct, like exact messages. Usually dreams speak in symbolic language. So focus on the general themes of your dreams. It's going to be revealing something important to you. We also have beauty coming through. So grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. More self-love. There's a message here of accepting yourself for who you are. Falling in love with all the unique things about you. That's a message greatly coming through. Falling in love with all of those unique things about you. Have you ever like been really inspired by someone and they might have a really unique thing about them that other people might be like, oh, look at their like weird nose or something or look at their weird lips and maybe you're looking at that person being like that's like my favorite thing about that person I think it's so amazing like I'd love to have that feature you know but then there's other things that when we look at ourselves we're like "Mm, I hate how my eyes are like that or I hate how my teeth are like that or I hate how my whatever you know what I mean you know how sometimes we can be really critical of ourselves um there's a message coming through to really love yourself because there's unique things about you that other people it's their favorite thing about you. And there's a message here about falling in love with those things and and making the most of everything that you are. How can I make the most of everything that I am? That is a huge message coming through. And how can I put beautiful effort into myself so that I can begin loving myself? I really feel like this is a month where you're going to be either you know, taking care of your skin in a new way, taking care of your hair in a new way. I feel like there's a new beauty regimen coming through for you that you're going to be committing to and it is going to pay off. So again, if you've been really wanting to grow your hair or if you've been really wanting to clear up your skin or if you've been really wanting to enhance yourself in some kind of way, I feel like the month of May is the month where you're going to be finding the regimens in order to create what you want whether that be long hair clearing skin um diet working out getting the body that you want whatever it is i feel like there's a new beauty regimen coming through and i feel like it's going to increase your confidence because you're going to start to see results and it's like ooh, ooh, that's working oh, i'm going to keep doing that so i feel like that's also something that's coming through there so let's go ahead and see what else we get for you through these other cards here so group four What else do we have for my beautiful group fours for the month of May? Let's see. So we have new beginnings coming through, new chapter opening for you. It's time for you to spread your wings. New beginnings. I feel like this is really letting go of this empty stuff and moving towards the fulfilling, fruitful things that are going to bring us more energy, more confidence, more abundance. Letting go Letting go of the things that are lacking in fulfillment. Let's see. We also have this card. Let's see what that is. That one came flying out. Um, And success. Like trusting that you can be so successful in this, in this new vision. I feel like success is is your birthright. It's everyone's birthright. And I feel like you're just 
on this precipice of, of learning to accept and to find more success for the things that maybe haven't been so successful thus far. You're learning how to find that success and create that success by focusing on the more fruitful things in life and letting go of those empty sort of draining things. I know that's a theme that I keep repeating, but it kind of is coming through a lot. So maybe it's needed to be repeated somehow and maybe spirits wanting to repeat that message. Maybe it's something that we just need to ingrain through repetition. Um, But yeah, let's see what else we get for you here so group four we have the sage oh clearing negativity clearing negative thoughts clearing negative things in our life maybe some of you are even going to sage or use palo santo to clear um some negative energies around you that you can use and burn sage or palo santo to clear energy very powerful highly recommend Let's see. Sage would be like the most potent. Um, and Palo Santo is a little bit more subtle, but Sage is very good at clearing. So let's go ahead and see what else we get for you. The creator. So getting back into that space where we're taking control over our life rather than feeling victim to it. I feel like we're letting go of victimhood, feeling like victim to certain circumstances and taking back hold of our ability to call the shots, our ability to create our success. That's something massively coming through here. Letting go of victimhood. Letting go of I can't. You can. Whether you say you can or can't, you're right. So which one do you want to be? Do you want to be the I can or do you want to be the I can't? Because either way, you're right. If you say you can't, then for sure you can't because you don't believe you can. If you don't believe you can, you can't. However, if you say I can, then you're also right. Because once you believe that you can, that's when you grab hold of that creator's stick and that's when you're like, yes, I can. So let's sage out. Let's clear out those negative thoughts. And let's come back to the I can. Okay, because either way, you're right. We have the get wild card coming through. So getting back in touch with that wild side that's like, you know what, let's go, let's do it. And then the outlaw giving the boot to certain things in your life that no longer serve you. What mindsets, patterns, habits do not serve you? How can we give the boot to those things? And then love, coming back to the essence of love, letting your heart be on fire again, loving yourself, spreading more love. I see more love coming into your life, more support. And I feel like someone's going to really open up to you and pour out more of their feelings towards you about encouragement. I'm getting this encouraging feeling from someone, someone kind of helping you see your own beauty to see your own light. This could be a really special friend, a family member, a partner, something like this. I'm seeing more love coming in for you as well. And I see this setting your heart on fire in a really good way, in a positive, passionate way of feeling like, yes, like I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling the fire within me. You know, it's, it's very energizing. So I'm getting a very energizing feeling for you for the month of May. So with that being said, let's now take our Astro Dice. We're going to roll the Zodiac sign dice three times to get the top three most likely Zodiac signs that'll be in your life in the month of May. This could be somebody's sun, moon, or rising sign, or even a reflection of your own. So let's go ahead and see what we get. We have Gemini. So Gemini, sun, moon, or rising. We have Leo, Leo, sun, moon, or rising. And Capricorn. So Gemini, Leo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising seem to be the most prominent or dominant. This could be a reflection of somebody really significant in your life or even a reflection of your own. So let's go ahead and see what else we get for you. My beautiful group fours. We have Pluto, the planet of transformation in Sagittarius in the fifth house greatly transforming how you spend your time and what you do for leisure, what you do for pleasure. And I feel like you're heading into a new direction when it comes to where you get pleasure from, what you do to have fun. And I feel like there's a new idea coming 
coming for you. If you notice certain endings, it will always be blessed with something better. So if we're ending an old habit, there's always a new one coming through that's going to replace that that's better. Pluto gives us a gift and gives us blessings. So if there's something that you feel called to let go of, Pluto promises to bring you a blessing, especially if we know that we need to let go of it and we know it's going to be better for us. Pluto's like, "Mm, I'll help you with that and I will help you transform that and transmute it so that it can we can create something even better, something higher and something more positive. So Pluto's coming along to bring in transformation. Um, let me see if I see anything else within here before saying goodbye. Expansion is coming through. So expanding, finding a way to expand ways that you have fun. Finding a way to also make mundane things fun. Ooh, oh, that's a message coming through very powerfully, actually. So if there's certain things that you're like, I know I need to get that done, but I really don't want to do it. How can we make those mundane things fun? How can we transform them so that we're actually like, hey, I'm kind of looking forward to that right now. Um, Like kids have such a wild imagination. I remember when I was little and I would see adults like vacuuming and doing laundry and all these different things. And as a kid, I was like, oh my God, I really want to do that. Why am I not allowed to do that? And my mom was like, you're a kid, go have fun. And I was like, but I really want to vacuum. And I was like way too young to even like hold a vacuum at the time. I think I was like three years old. And I think, you know, back then vacuums were like super bulky and super heavy and I It probably would have like crushed me if I even tried to like hold it up. But, you know, kids are so in their imagination. They're so creative. They allow that creative juice to flow. And I remember wanting to do that so bad because I was like, oh, it'd be so fun to do that and then feel like I'm an adult and then feel like, you know, I'm I'm like uh, a wife and have a family that I'm like taking care of or whatever. As a kid, like I used to do that. And sometimes, you know, when you're a kid, you're also like, oh, I'm going to pretend I'm an accountant or I'm going to pretend that I'm like a whatever. Like kids just have fun in any role that they're given. Kids can find a way to have fun in anything. And I feel like for you, a message that's coming through is how to have fun even through the mundane things. So if we're needing to like, you know, um, take care of bills or clean our house or do chores that we don't want to do. How can we expand ourselves and transform them so that it becomes a fun thing? For me, I like to turn on like really fun music while I'm dancing or while I'm doing laundry or cooking. And then I just dance in the kitchen or while I'm doing the laundry and I just dance around and I just have a really good time. You can make anything fun. You can make anything fun. There's always ways of uplifting it and making it fun. So how can we like go back to that um, childhood innocence where everything's fun, that even paying a bill on a computer ends up being fun. Like how can we come back to that that part of ourselves, that inner child that's like, oh, that's so cool. I want to do that. I'm an adult. And then look at now I'm an adult and I do those things. You know, how can we come back to that where that ends up being so fun and so exciting? That is a huge message of Pluto in Sagittarius in the fifth house. That's such a, that's such a Pluto Sagittarius fifth house message. Like let's come back to that inner child. That's like, yes, life is so exciting. And even the adulting things are so exciting. Ah, you know, so that's the message coming through group four. I hope it resonates. I hope it made sense. And I hope it opens up new doors for you of how to have fun in your life and create the best possible scenario. So anyway, I am sending you so much love. Thank you so much for joining me here for this May prediction and have an amazing month of May and I'll see you next time. Bye. 